This is Charlie Carson from What's On Social in association with Better Fred. Delighted to be joined here on Zoom. Rocky Fielding, how are you, mate? Yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you, Paul. Good, thank you. Um, obviously, this week, we've got Canelo Galop in the rematch. We will go into that. First things first. Oh, I say the rematch, the trilogy even, but first things first, let's go a little bit into your career. Obviously, I think moving up to like heavyweight now. Um, so yeah. Those of a couple of people. How are things going in the world of Rocky? All good, mate. Um, uh, all good. Um, back in back in the gym with Jamie and Nige and um, just just cracking on and um, training's going well so far. So not much happening really. Not much has been happening. Have you got any sort of news in terms of a fight date or anything like that for yourself, or are you just ticking over for now? Yeah. Yeah, I got a call the other week to say um, October at the Echo um, for Bellum show. So um, waiting on the date com- be, to be confirmed, but that's the, that was the call the other week. So um, that's it, really, yeah. For someone like yourself, obviously, you know, boxing's one of them crafts where. You know, you get in the ring and things are moving at a good pace and everything feels like it's good again. And then things slow down, obviously, through COVID and everything. Um, Just for yourself, when you get through sort of blips where you don't have fight news and stuff like that, how difficult is it for you at, at this point of your career sort of stay motivated? Um, yeah, it's, you know, obviously I've got, got two kids, so that that takes the... the uh, yeah, yeah, but... As you say, yeah, it does um, you know, it does it does get to you a bit when you know, you know, you you you're taking over and you know you're waiting on dates and fights and stuff like that and nothing's coming, no no calls are happening and um last two months um not nothing's been said of being saying up, being saying like you know right the way through the year till June and then things went quiet and stuff and then. Yeah, um, obviously they got two kids and one the way, so it was don't you know, keep an occupied with them and a little bit of motivation was 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 slacking a little, not a little bit, but um, I got, kept myself busy um, and then you know got back in the gym and I think I think once you once you get in the gym and, and keep busy and, and keep occupied and train and feel good, I think like. Things, you no know, things happen. Things fall into place. It's when you're sitting around and thinking about things, and you know your head's doing overtime. Not really, not really comes. So if you stay busy yeah. with yourself and you know keep active, <clears throat> things fall into place. Well, what is the plan now at light heavyweight? How have you said to your guys how you how you want to be moved from this point on? Because I imagine you won't really want to waste any time in with you know certain opponents that you know that you can dispatch of yourself you want I imagine you'll want stuff you can get yourself up for now yeah definitely yeah you know I'm in I'm in the the last stages of my career aren't I really and you know I, <clears throat> I haven't really been in any hard fights tough fights where you know I've took, took beatings for 10 12 rounds you know I've, <clears throat> I've only lost two fights and bomb was 2015 years ago so and obviously Canelo was one and, but I know where I'm at you know I've won titles I've won British titles of you know I won the WBA title world title and with COVID hitting and everyone having a bit of a, a standstill it was I weren't ready to you know to start packing on the thought weren't even in my mind it was just you know, I'm I'm ready to keep keep going here and you know some more big fights, some good fights. You know, there's a lot of fights that are, are out there and these big names, these big, you know, good opponents out there. It's just I had a plan, you know, last year I got a got a fight back in, in November of fourteen April and the plan is just to just to get one another one out the way and maybe a big one in December and and you know, that's the that's the plan and yeah, you know, I know. I know. You know, with the call I got you the week about the show in October, and in in, in the Echo is obviously it's it's short, bit of a short notice for everyone, and I don't know what the opponent's going to be there, but if it's one I can just you know 
get get a get get round in or maybe you know get a, a good fight in and then hopefully December I just want to get on a big oh, fight. Yes. Um you know rankings are high and domestically you know these 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 good names you know over overseas these good names so I just want to get that, that that big fight where I'm knuckling down and I've got the the the, the bit between my teeth to fire my belly like, like I've had you know in in the previous fights and years where it's you know knuckling down and you know you know get these big fights and I'm I'm, I'm open you know to, to, to come off and you know it's just providing like you know keep saying that and keep keep in the gym and then hopefully the call comes within the next couple of weeks, months. Well, I'd be daft if I didn't ask you about the fight in Las Vegas this weekend. Canelo against Golovkin, the trilogy. Um, look, a fight that, obviously, Golovkin's slightly on the older side now. I think the fight's been made at £168, so Golovkin's going up to a weight that he's never fought at before. But, um, you know, a, a big, big middleweight his whole career. Yeah. You know, 168 shouldn't really be a problem. We've seen a video of uh, Canelo properly sweating out to make 168 on his Instagram. Um, obviously, last time out, the defeat to Dimitri Bivol. Um, Then before that, he obviously had the fight with Caleb Plant. I uh, saw a few, not necessarily critics today on Twitter, but, you know, a few comments that maybe Canelo's best years are behind him. Um, obviously, you know, daring to be great again in a trilogy and a fight with unsettled business in the past. How do you feel this weekend goes? And and sort of with Canelo moving forward, do you, you know, how much higher is his ceiling? Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I say, I, I think, I think, you know, I don't think Canelo is going to get any better. You know, I think he, he's, he is what he is and he, he performs well, he, he's, you know, but then, we watched the Bivol fight. Bivol, Bivol like not base, look basic, but like that style was 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 just like you know on the move all the time, hitting a move, you know, and backing Canelo up, and you know he was being the, the bully in there. Like Canelo was previously he's been the bully. Oh, sorry, <laughs> man. <laughs> I dropped the form though, but I need a, a proper stand. I've had many interviews, so like, I need a proper stand, don't I? Yeah, and then I say you know the the Golovkin's been at the middleweight for a long time, and maybe this might help him put a bit of weight on, not make him not have to kill himself to make weight, and you know feeling strong and yeah. But I think just uh, probably going to sway to Canelo to you know get get the win. But I think it's going to be a, a good fight. I think it's going to be like a, another. Toe to toe fight, and maybe the early early rounds might be like you know feel each other out again, and then I think I think from four rounds onwards, I think it's going to be you know a bit of a, a dog fight toe to toe. I think Canelo might be a bit a little bit sharper than him. Um, you know, movements a bit, his head movements and footwork's a bit better, but um, you know, Golovkin likes to to cut the ring and grind them down, but. I think I think I think go with Canelo to win, but I think it's going to be a, a very good fight. Obviously, we've got Golovkin coming up in weight, and he is on the older latter stage of his career. Do we feel that potentially? And obviously, this is you know something else that's being discussed. But with coming up and with the fight sort of being one of the last fights we'll see of Golovkin with his age and whatever. I mean, you know that may not be the case if he's victorious Saturday night, but is there a chance that maybe? he won't be able to hold up and stand toe-to-toe with Canelo how he could a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah, because I think though he fought that, the, the guy in Japan, wasn't it? And he was getting, he was getting, Yeah, he was getting a cold bit of that, and he, he was getting hit a lot there, and but well, he seems to just bounce off him, and then he comes back even harder, so, <laughs> you know, uh, he's like, he can take a punch, I don't, I don't think any fight you've ever seen him Wobbled, or you know, I see that years ago when he boxed that uh, Daniel thing, you know, where he, he took one and gave one and ended up flattening him. So, I thought I'll say, I don't think it, 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 his reflexes and his movements are probably as sharp as what, what he was, but you know, moving up in weight, maybe you know, give him a little bit of a benefit, a bit more energy. Um, but 
but you can never, you never write Golovkin off, off. You know, he always pulls through, and even though it's some round he might be losing, getting picked off, but he's always he always finds a way and he comes on strong. So, but likes the Canelo the same. He's he's strong right the way through the fights from round one onwards, and he's strong. He's always there. He always seems to like go from like round six, seven, eight. He always seems to step up and puts a shot together, power shots together well, and yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know. I've seen a lot of people saying it's gonna, it's not gonna go twelve rounds, and I don't know. I think, I think, I think it might go the distance, but it might just be, you know, someone will take a few hits and a few wobbles and stuff like that. But um, yeah. but I'd, I'd go on like on a, on a win. I'd go with Canelo. Well, Rocky, thank you very much for your time. We look forward to seeing you out next month. Um, yes, yeah, yeah. Touch wood. Um, just a final yeah. message to the people watching you. What's that mean? Just a final message to the people watching. Yeah, no, um, no, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's doing good in these um, crazy times that, that are coming up again. I keep on seeing on this, on this, on the telly, but you know, I hope everyone's good and I hope everyone, thanks for everyone's support. And you know, yeah, hopefully, I can. Um, Get a, get a good few decent fights in towards the end of the year and, and see where we go then.